Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Ginger Girl here and Rocket right there hanging out. Um, today we're talking about the Assumption Challenge. couple groups on Facebook um, for YouTube promotion and so I posted a picture um, and I'll put that right up here and asked for assumptions. The first um, post that I posted was in a group, it's Honest YouTube Promotion awesome group if you haven't checked it out um, go do that the the admins and the mods are like amazing it is an awesome group and I've really enjoyed being part of that group with everybody um, if any of you guys are watching hello so the first um, shout out goes to 480 connects um, and his assumption is Clearly, you're a cat person. Clearly. I, honestly, I'm an animal person. And fun fact about me is I actually, until I was 19 years old, grew up somewhere where I had animals. And until the age of 13, I actually lived on a working horse ranch. So the next shout out goes to um, Giggle Scar. Um, I assume you enjoy bubble baths with cheese in a can. That's relaxing. Um, I don't usually take baths. Um, I guess I'll get into that in another video. Um, I'm not a water person, so um, spending long hours in the bath is not really um, what I enjoy. As for the cheese in the can, um, I have purchased cheese in the can for Rocket um, to attempt um, with training. Shout out, um, actually, um, Ambrosia and Giselle have a channel, um, a vlog channel. Um, and they're um, very f friendly, um, welcoming ladies, and I I really enjoy their channel. It's Amber and Giselle, and both of them left separate comments. The first one was from Giselle, and it's I assume you love ducks. Ha ha ha! I'm bad at this. Um, and I'll admit, Giselle, this is not, was not an easy, um, challenge to come up with stuff that was appropriate, but still funny. Um, so kudos to you. Um, I actually don't mind ducks. Um, and I have a video where Rocket and I actually go to the local duck pond. Um, and it's a really good place to train. There's a lot of people that walk by and the ducks are a good distraction. So... Ducks are fine by me. Um, and then Amber from a Ambrosia and Giselle said, I assume you have a big yard. Um, I wish. Um, I guess who, um, from Honest YouTube promotion were W. James MCI, and he's a gaming channel. He said, That poor penguin. <laughs> Um, I think, I think I've had that penguin in the video before. So the story behind the penguin, he has had quite a rough life. Um, but he is Rocket's best friend. Um, when I first got him, I had given him a stuffed bear. And that was his toy. Him having a small mouth, he likes stuffies. He doesn't chase after balls or anything like that it's hard for him to get his mouth around it um so the idea behind the penguin was 
um, a retrieval command for medications um, that was later abandoned. The hopes was to have something that he was geared to and motivated to fetch um, that would become special that I could alter for him to be able to bring me medication. I was going to de-stuff that poor penguin and um, put pill bottle inside of it. The last one goes to um, Hip Hip Renee, um, and hers was, your lovely little doggy looks terrified. So I assume you are a stage mom and you force him or her to be in all your YouTube videos. Um, yes, I do. It's a uh, doggy slave labor, as you can see. He's uh, being tortured presently at the moment in his little bed. Um, at first, Rocket um, really didn't like the camera. Um, the lens actually can look like an eyeball. And um, it wasn't until I started recording him that I discovered um, what that kind of means to a dog. There he is, he's gonna, he's gonna fluff and get cozy, yeah. Um, but direct eye contact with a dog is um, a sign of um, a challenge. Um, and that direct eye contact that it appears to be from the camera um, can be a sign and um, a message saying I'm challenging you so it was it was a trick to kind of get him used to the camera and anymore it gets to the point where he just gets annoyed that he's got the camera in his face anymore so um, but yes, I do. I force him to be in all of these videos because he's here for his therapist. I also posted on another group. And when I initially posted, um, the, the responses I got were not positive and it was rather discouraging. Um, and it kind of was disheartening to, to read some of the comments that people were leaving. Um, but then there were um, a couple that um, stood out that rose above and stood out in the crowd and, and stayed positive. And um, I wanted to give a special shout out to Mandy Mack um, for um, being a breath of fresh air in all of the negative comments on the other posts that I had. Um, it was really difficult to figure out how to respond to the negative and the hate that I was getting and the blatant disregard for a person's um, feelings was quite obvious in those posts. But Mandy Mack stood up and she said, you love your pup and have a strong connection. And I wanted to, again, special thank you to Mandy Mack for all of the wonderful comments that you left on that post. Um, yes, um, I do love my dog very much. He has been, um, a life saver, life saver for me. Um, I adopted him uh, four years ago, three years ago this January. January 12th was his adoption date and I've had him for three years and almost all three of those years we have gone through the training. Um, I do believe it was March of 2014 that we began our service dog journey and the initial idea behind him was to have um, a companion um, and later on my health um, spread out into needing 
um, more than just a companion dog. And so I pursued um, having him as a service dog. It was a challenge, um, but in the challenge became an opportunity to be creative. And Rocket really has risen to the challenge and we have formed a very deep connection because every day we rely on each other um, very much. Um, so again, thank you Mandy Mack for your awesome um, comments on that. And again, I'd like to shout out to 480 Connects, Giggle Scar, Ambrosia, and Giselle, W. James, MCI, Hip Hip Renee, and Mandy Mack. Um, this was a really fun challenge for me despite the setbacks um, and so I um, encourage you to try it and see how it works out for you um, so I'm gonna end this here and if you're new to the channel please subscribe down below hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of it and we'll catch you next time